Hey folks, Matt Lang here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make an 808 style kick, sub bass, you know the sound, and we're going to be using Native Instruments FM8 to do it. So I just loaded up Native Instruments FM8, looks like this, makes a sine wave. Boring, but that's going to be our building block. So let's go to our first operator, I'm going to operator F, and first thing you'll notice, way too high. So let's go to master, and we're going to transpose it down 24 semitones. That's a good starting point. Now let's go back to our operator. And an operator is basically the FM version of an oscillator. So first thing, it needs to be long, it needs to boom. You know, it needs to like, it just hits it and goes, mm, right now. That doesn't do that, does it? So we have these envelopes, and these envelopes are really terrific. This is why FM8 is so good for this, because they're really malleable. So first, we need a nice long release. So I'm going to drag that out. I want more. Let's make the graph a little bit smaller so I can make it longer. That's all right. A little bit more. And I also can really, really affect just the general curve of it. You know, just the attack, the decay, the whole envelope of this kick. I have so much control. And you can really curve the envelope very, very effectively. Right? Let's do that. Now, it doesn't sound like a kick drum at all. It just sounds like low bass, and it's pretty boring in general, right? So what's going to be the thing that kind of gives it that actual hit, you know, that weight, that pop? That's going to be a pitch envelope. So to do that, we go to the pitch section. And here, basically, as we drag this up, and then that's going to be our envelope, and this could be the amount of the envelope. We got to turn off release. So that's the start of it. Doesn't sound right though. But let's make basically, we need the decay to be a lot shorter. So let's zoom in a bit. And the other thing is make sure your level right here, make sure you want that to be zero. So that way, when I'm hitting a C, that means when the end of the envelope ends, it's exactly on the C. It's not going to be any lower than that. So levels at zero. That sounds too much like a laser. So now we can curve the envelope, and let's turn it into like a more exponential curve, which is like this. Too much. Right about there is pretty right to me. And we could try adding a little bit more of the envelope. It might be a little too much though, too. Eighty-three is good. Now we also need this thing to be monophonic. That's a very important thing. So that's kind of like the basis of what we're going to do with FM8. We need this thing to really crunch, though. We want to have a lot more aggression. So I'm going to saturate it a bit. And the first thing I'm going to use, I'm going to use the Plugin Alliance Black Box. This thing is a great saturator. Now it's starting to sound more like an 808. And it's not just good, it's getting louder. We're actually getting some nice drive. And we're also clipping. So at the end of this chain, I'm just going to put a limiter right now, just so we already are covered. That's starting to sound more like an 808. Now, there's some high end in there that I don't want. Um, so I'm going to use a filter. And really, I mean, we could use any filter. I like a character filter, one that's going to actually give us a little bit more harmonic overdrive as well. So my personal choice is going to be a UA filter. Um, the Moog is really, really phenomenal. But you can use anything like the Sound Toys Filter Freak. That's a great alternative also. But this has some drive. And you bring the cutoff down a bit. It's low. I mean, it's rattling my room right now. And the tail's a little bit long on the operator, so let's actually just shape it a little bit. So that's basically the start so far. 
Now I want to add some EQ. Um, you know, just kind of clean it up a little bit. Just take out anything below 20 because we're not going to need it. And then right around here, there's a little bit, you know, this stuff I don't want. I'm going to take that out just a touch. And then I'm going to add basically a multiband compressor. Uh, I'm going to use the Fab Filter Pro MB. That's great. And I need to tame the low end just a little because ultimately, I mean, it's all low end right now, but I don't want to lose too much of the low mids to just the low end. So that's a little much. And lastly, let's put a uh, another compressor on this. Let's do something with character. So I'm going to use uh, an 1176 and drive it. That's too much because we're losing all of our attack. But still not attacking enough. And it's got to be something in FM8 that's acting a little funky. But what we're basically going to do is now that it's in here, um, because we want to treat this ultimately as a sample, we don't need to just uh, play it just off the synth. And on top of it, there are going to be phase issues and stuff like that. So we're going to just make a version of it and then print it. Decide so what note should we do? Let's do uh, let's do the C below that. All right, that's good. Print it or commit it, whatever you want. So here's our FM8 808. Sounds pretty thumping, right? Uh, let's now also put that in a sampler so then we can actually play it. Let's create a contact. You can use any sampler. I just like contact. I believe that should be the one. FM8 CMO1. So we look at the mapping editor and the wave editor. Great, there it is. And now we can re-trigger it. And we can play it as if we want to do it. I mean, maybe we could have made it longer just because when we do resample it up, it's a little bit short. So you know what? Let's just redo it again. Um, but I don't have to, all I have to do is just make the attack, or I'm sorry, the release on this envelope a lot longer. That's fine. We also could have printed it with a higher note, but let's do it this way. All right. See, they sound different. It's because the phase is hitting different every time. But it doesn't really matter. So now we can play it like we want to do anything. And even if we made some, you know, really quick beat, suddenly it'd be very playable. So I'm just gonna make a really quick example now of how this could be used. This is just a, a drum track I have from uh, something else we were doing earlier. I'm just gonna basically just create really uh, a really quick, terribly edited beat out of it. But it's just, you know, for the sake of showing that this works. But forgive the sloppiness of it. This is just on the fly, just to really prove a point. And these sounds are not genre specific or appropriate, I should say, at all. But it'll work. Now with our 808. 
simple, works great. You can make your own. It takes you about five minutes to do it, and it gets to be your 808. It's not someone else's 808. And you can really craft it to be exactly the way you want it to, or you want it to be. So FM8, I mean, it's so ubiquitous. It's part of you know Native Instruments Complete Bundle, and I mean, almost anyone who has Complete, which frankly, that's a no-brainer. If you're a producer, everybody should just have Complete because the sheer amount of content you get in there is unparalleled. But really, FM8, a pitch envelope, and then you just saturate it, and then some compression and EQ, and you get a pretty slamming 808 pretty quickly. So go make an 808. It's fun. <laughs> <laughs>